Hey everybody, this lesson is uh, we're writing fractions and decimals as percents and this is lesson 5.3 in our textbook and don't forget uh, all your lessons can be found at that website mrmathblog.com and there's our our uh, common course strand for our most awesome teachers and be nice to your teachers and here's our question is how can we write fractions and decimals as percents okay so here we go uh, during the 2015 summer of the Major League Baseball, uh, the San Francisco Giants won about 11 out of 20 of their games, and the Los Angeles Dodgers won about .524 of their games. So which team had the better record at the time? Okay, well let's uh, answer a couple of questions here. So underline the sentence that we're trying to find out. This It's always the last one right here. So which team had the better record at the time right there, okay? And then, um, and then it says to circle the numbers that we're going to use. Well, we're going to use this 11 out of 20 and the .524, okay? All right. So we're, uh, to compare the performances of the Giants and the Dodgers, it's helpful to write the fractions, the fraction and the decimal as a percent. So we're going to convert this fraction to a uh, percent, and we're going to convert this uh, decimal to a percent right there, okay? So write the fraction or decimal as a percent. Okay, let's do the top one first, you guys. We're going to uh, multiply uh, this numerator and denominator right here. Uh, by the same uh, value to write an equivalent fraction that has a denominator of this 100. So 20 times what equals 100? Well, I know 2 times 5 equals 10, so 20 times 5 will equal that 100. So we're going to multiply it by 5 over 5 right there, okay? And then so 11 times 5 is 55, okay? Now remember, you guys, a percent is a ratio comparing a number to 100. So write the ratio as a percent right there, okay? All right, so 55 over 100 is 55 hundredths, and so remember percent means per 100, so this is going to be 55 percent right there. So the giant, so the percent of the uh, games won by the Giants is 55 percent, okay? All right, so now let's uh, convert the 0.524 to a percent, okay? So to write a percent as a decimal, to write a percent as a decimal, we divide by 100, and to write this decimal right here as a percent, we're going to multiply it by 100, okay? So to multiply by 100, all we do is move the decimal place two places to the right. So to change it to a percent, we're going to move it uh, two places to the right right there, okay? So the 0.524 becomes 52.4, and so we'll put a percent right there. So 52.4 percent, okay? Sorry, we just slid that up right there. Okay, so the percent of games won by the Dodgers is 52.4%. All right, so let's answer the question now because they won a greater percentage. All right, remember the Dodgers or the Giants won 55%. So because they won a greater percent, the Giants were more successful during the, the 2015 season at that time. Okay, so they play 182 games, so if they've only played 20, they got a lot of season left. All right, so we can use uh, what we know about fractions, decimals, and percents to write numbers in different forms. Okay, so for example, let's write 0.7 as a fraction and as a percent. Okay, so 0.7 means, okay, remember decimal place value? This ends in the tenths position, so it, uh, 0.7. Uh, means seven tenths right there. So to write it as a fraction, it's just seven over ten. Okay, so 0.7 is is seven tenths right there, and, and in words, it's seven tenths. Okay, all right, because it ends in the tenth spot right there. And to write this as a percent, we can write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of a hundred right there. Okay, so ten times what equals a hundred? We're going to multiply this by ten over ten. So we get seven times ten on top, or seven. Uh, 70, so 70 hundredths, so 70 hundredths is going to be, uh, write the ratio of 70 to 100 as a percent. So remember, percent means per 100, so here we have 70 hundredths, so this is going to be 70 percent right there. Okay, all right, so uh, 0.7 written as a fraction up here is 7 tenths, okay, and then uh, 0.7 written as a percent is 70 percent right there, okay. Easy enough, huh? All right, so let's write 3 40ths as a decimal and as a percent. Okay, well, since 40 is not a factor of 100, it's harder to find an equivalent fraction 
with a denominator of 100 so that we can't really multiply 40 times anything to get uh, 100, any even number or whole number. So instead, we'll use division to write 3 40ths as a decimal first, okay? So we're going to go ahead and divide 3 by 40, okay? So we'll do this one step at a time, okay? You'll see the colors right here. So 40 goes into 3 zero times. Notice we just slid the decimal right up on top right there. Okay, do you remember what we do now? Now we're going to subtract, so 3 minus 0 is 0. Then we'll slide the next number down, and then, uh, so 40 goes into 30, again, 0 times. Okay, so then we subtract, and then we slide the next number down, and it gives us 300. Okay, 40 goes into 300. Well, I know 4 goes into 30. Um, 7 times is 28, so 40 goes into 300 7 times, and that gives us 280. And 300 minus 280, that gets us 20. And then we slide the next number down. Okay, remember doing this? And then 4 times 5 is 20, so 40 times 5 is 200. Okay, and then we subtract, and we finally get a remainder of 0. Okay, so 3 40ths is the same as... Uh, 0 0.075 up there, okay? Let's say this as a, a math thing. This is tenths, hundreds, thousands, so this is read as 75 thousands right there, okay? All right, so um, uh, to write a decimal as a percent, uh, we multiply by 100. And so when multiplying a decimal by 100, we just move the decimal place um, uh, two places to the right right there. So we'll take this decimal and move it two places to the right. One, two, so it goes right there. Okay, so then that gives us 7.5% right there. Okay, so 340ths written as a decimal is 0 0.075, and then uh, when we change that to a percent, we just move it two places to the right, one, two, and it becomes 7.5% right there. Okay, so explain why uh, it makes sense that 340ths uh, is less than 10%, remember a 7.5%. Well, we know 340ths is less than 440ths, and 440ths is 1 tenth or 10%. So since 3 fourths is less than 10%, then it's uh, or less than 1 tenth, it's going to be less than 10% right there. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and take care.